Welcome to the gbatemp.net guide for installing FlashMe. I'm going to show you the SL1 hole, which you'll need to bridge on the DS Lite, and also give you a few hints and tips about installing FlashMe. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver to open up the battery cover. Like so. There. The SL1 hole is the hole here on the left. When installing FlashMe, you need to bridge the two small semicircle halves that are found inside the hole. The hole next to it is known as the VR hole. Avoid touching this at all costs. If your flashing tool makes contact with both the SL1 hole and the VR hole, your DS Lite will automatically turn off. Similarly, Nintendo has tried to be tricky when they made the DS Lite. On the left hand side of the SL1 hole is a tiny bit of metal that's near impossible to see without dismantling your DS. This piece of conductive metal actually connects back to the VR hole so that if your flashing tool brushes against it, your DS will turn off. The way to overcome this is to insulate your entire flashing tool except for the very tip with something non-conductive. I insulated mine with ordinary scotch tape for example. Having your DS turn off is potentially devastating when installing FlashMe because if your DS turns off before the whole firmware is written you can end up with a brick. If worse comes to worse you can attempt to reboot your DS with your flash cart by holding A, B, X, Y, start and select. However this does not work for everyone as it depends on how much of FlashMe is written before the DS turns off. So that's the SL1 hole and what to do with that. And I'm going to finish up by giving you a few general tips about FlashMe. A lot of people want to know what sort of tool to use when installing FlashMe. Well, I personally used a small nail head and that was wrapped in scotch tape except for the very very end. You can see there? And that's the bit that I used to bridge the connection. Now, I've also heard reports the toothpick wrapped in foil and then insulated with tape works equally well so you may want to try that. When installing FlashMe pay particular attention to the battery um, as it may fall out unless you're holding onto it so keep that in mind. The flashing process takes only about 20 seconds so if you lose connection with the SL1 and the percentage stops don't worry just wiggle your tool around very slowly until you find that sweet spot again and it will continue. This can sometimes be a bit frustrating but keep at it and you'll find it again. Once the percentage reaches 100%, you can safely turn off your DS and reboot it. You'll never have to worry about a Pass Me or Pass Card device again. So, good luck with your flashing and remember to visit gbatemp.net for other guides and flash cart reviews.